Shelly, what happened? That is still to be determined. I mean, they were pretty pretty open actually saying, you know what, we really think we need to turn around this company. We just disagree on how. And so they were the, the most specific specificity that we got was that they agreed on all the operations changes, but they didn't agree on the consumer facing stuff. So we're still not quite sure what that means. But to me, it means Ralph Lauren, the founder, wasn't ready to part ways yet. Wasn't ready to hand over all control of his company to somebody else who he may have not agreed with on the kind of creative direction that it, that it was going. Does that mean that the, because the quarter wasn't that terrible, right? So for the third quarter. So does that mean we're setting up 2017 for not a great year for Ralph Lauren or are they now devoid? Well, I think that they were actually doing pretty well. I mean, the, the past year or so, the, the results have been going up. They were kind of what people were expecting. And so, you know, for Stefan Larson to leave, this isn't a, oh, you, your plan wasn't working for us financially type of decision, because that would be something that wouldn't have surprised investors. This was a big shock to investors. Well, it's a shock that you've got to find a replacement. Uh, and given what's happening here, and a lot of people will be watching what's happening, who will want this job after they've seen this guy leave so quickly or not or you don't find a replacement maybe Ralph Lauren takes over himself for another year or two I mean they've elevated their CFO this woman Jane Nielsen who came over from coach and kind of did the same turnaround type of thing at coach you know maybe she becomes his second in command and and, and he stays in charge the the um, kind of scuttlebutt before um, Stefan Larson came on was that his son David Lauren who's uh, held a leadership role there for quite some time would be the one to take the reins and so when Stefan Larson came over they thought oh well maybe that that doesn't really bode well for for David Lauren so maybe he could come back and make an appearance but you're right who wants to take over now when Stefan Larson the superstar of the retail world couldn't even do it so, so Shelly isn't the question whether Ralph Lauren the brand the company survives Ralph Lauren the person it wouldn't be the first time you had a brand that's really identified with a person. And goodness knows Ralph Lauren has given his own personal imprimatur to this brand. But the question is, can it succeed him as a practical matter? Sure. I mean, I think the changes that Stefan Larson did bring in will help a lot of the company. The operational changes, things like closing stores, getting, to, getting close to market pretty quickly. And the thing that Ralph Lauren, the person, um, is really good at and has made a name for is the creative side. So maybe it, it will be good for him to kind of take over and, and um, you know, bring that company to the direction he sees. But you're right. I mean, what does this mean for this company who hasn't managed to do it with him you know, in the past. And how critical is the transition to digital? I think this will be incredibly critical for, for Ralph Lauren, the company. I mean, what's going to happen over the past year and what the founder can do, um, you know, will be a make or break for this brand. Where does Larson go now? That's an excellent question. I mean, he, he got pretty well compensated, leaving with $10 million. That understatement of the morning. <laughs> exactly. So, you know, he's pretty good for the next couple of years, and he'll be in hot commodity. He's only 41 years old. He has a, a big future ahead of him.